Recently, I had a conversation with one of my friends who just uh, happens to claim somehow, mystically, he happens to claim that end games are easy, and specifically the king and pawn end games are easy stuff. Yes, king and pawn end in the basics are very easy, but that does not make king and pawn end games easy. In fact, they are very. Uh, they need super precision. They need precision at every moment, and uh, they can be very complex. Take for example this one. This was uh, composed by a Dutch composer named as Harold van der Hedgen. It's white to play and win the game and actually uh, it's not as simple as it looks because if you just push forward with this pawn he's gonna capture back and he is just in time to promote if you for I mean if you push forward with G pawn then you are sure to lose the game because black will simply capture and the pawn will come forward give a check and yeah that will be uh, at best at best white can get a drawing there so in that that's the reason there is only one move that wins for white here and that has to be Calculated very precisely and that's the reason uh, I find it very silly when some of my friends claim that end games are very easy or you know King and pawn end games are specifically more uh, Easy, but it's not really true. I can show you hundreds of positions where they are very very complex even for masters. They have uh, Messed up the king and pawn end games uh, Quite uh, quite badly. So here we go It's right to play and win the game if you like you just pause the video and try to find the solution Okay, I trust you guys. I think most of you would have already found the correct solution. The only winning move for white here is to play king to h1 and now basically this is a zook sign position. We pass the ball to black and say uh, what have you got to uh, play? Just uh, just show me what you've got. So let's start with king to g3, you know, attacking the pawn on g4. What's the problem with this? The problem is white now plays e5 and then you realize that the king has stepped on the g5 and white spawn will promote with a check. So here we go. He has to take it. He takes it. Push forward. There's a race basically. And white promotes with a check. And uh, he will win the game. If uh, uh, just let, let me just give you a sample line. For example, the king moves here. Then uh, anything is fine. Just queen a2 for example. We just go over here. Pin the pawn. Get some time. King over here. Queen check. Goes over here. King, queen to d4. And that's very easy. Now the, uh, the pawn can't push forward. The king has only one square to go. That is f1 square. So king to f1 results into this delicious checkmate and we're going to look at this uh, same pattern again. So just going back, this is more or less a technical phrase. I don't want to show you much in detail, but yes, uh, white will completely win in that case. Okay, so going back in this position after white plays king to h1, which is the only winning move. Let us try to play something like king to e3 and here you realize there is another problem. The king has stepped on the e file, which means that it will block its own Pawn. So here we go. White plays e5. Black obviously captures, and now you see the point. The black king is actually blocking his own pawn's path, and that makes it extremely difficult for uh, black. So here we go. G5, and the pawn race begins. And white, uh, as always, tops the race. Is uh, much ahead in the race and promotes first. And after e2, yes, he has a pawn in the seventh rank, but that is not enough to win. All we have to do is throw in some checks and. A sample line could run like this, for example. Now, what do we do? Let's let's look at king to e1, right? King to e1. Now we can simply play something like king h2. Again, you see that he does not have uh, any moves apart from king to f1. And here comes the mate again, as we have seen earlier. So now let's go back in this position. Apart from king e1, he can also play king to c2 or just king to c1. Doesn't really matter. We just attack the pawn. He goes back. We throw in a check. Uh, if he goes steps to the c1 square we simply pick up the pawn that's complete winning position if king to e1 then as we have already seen a simple move like queen to d4 taking control of all these squares is enough to win so king to f1 and now we play queen to g1 again you see this beautiful checkmate so going back uh, last but not the least what would happen if the king goes to the f5 and puts his king on f3 what happens now he's not blocking the g file nor is blocking the e file is he going to be successful is he going to hold a draw i don't think so white simply plays e5 that's taken and again you can see the king position is actually king's position is actually very vulnerable so here comes the race white uh by the way just in this position it's uh white should not push forward with g6 in fact that would draw the game because even his pawn will promote with the check and that is the reason white has to be very precise here and he needs to play king to g1 now if black 
steps his king on e3 or e2 he would eventually end up blocking his own pawn and that would uh, obviously mean that white's pawn would promote first and easily win the game and if he plays continues with something like e3 then all we have to do is simply play king to f1 and basically after check we just step on the uh, e1 square we are blocking the pawn and he can't really stop a pawn so for example king e3 or king f4 doesn't really matter we just push forward and the pawn will soon promote to a girl to a queen and that will be completely winning so uh it was not really that easy in fact some i have some i've seen some extremely complex position in king and pawn and game they're very very tough to crack but this one was really nice you know this is a very practical end game that can actually occur in our games and uh yes the only winning move in this position was a, the very nice move king to h1 and uh, if he steps on the g file or the e file he ends up blocking or uh, exposing his own king and the same would happen with king to f3 so hope you enjoyed this thank you for watching and uh, do subscribe to my youtube channel as more videos are on the way bye